Well hi, it's Mike Woods here at the Property Expert Partnership. Just last week I put a video out about the importance of making sure that any building work you get done has got some sort of warranty on the back end of it and um, don't just rely on building regulations. Now that in itself, that video I put out created a lot of questions, a lot of people messaged me privately um, asking me for clarification on a number of things. So just for a bit of background, I started my architectural practice in 1995 and in my town Swansea there was an upsurge back then of HMOs because of the university. So I've been designing layouts for HMOs for a long time so uh, it's it's not new to me uh, but I know some of you guys are experienced and some of you don't know much about it and I just don't want you guys getting tripped up so this is what it's all about building regulations are a set of standards and they've been prescribed by the Secretary of State for England and Wales and they are released in approved documents and they're called parts now, if you're undertaking any work to a property that's deemed relevant work to building regulations, then you have an obligation to inform building regulations to ensure that that work is done correctly. Don't rely on your builder, don't rely on your architect. You must get building controlling, local authority or private, and get this work signed off. Now, just so that you know, Building regulations are in parts, as I just mentioned, and there are a number of them. Just hold up the sheet there. You've got part A through to part M, or P rather, which is electrical work. But the relevant bits to you guys who are doing HMOs is the part F. Now, part F is ventilation. So if you're installing an ensuite into a property, into a bedroom, that ensuite must be ventilated. You can either have a window, but many of them are positioned such that you haven't got an external wall or window, so you need an extractor fan. Now this extractor fan must be a minimum of 15 litres per second. Now that's a minimum requirement by building regulations. So if you put an ensuite in, you must put a fan in. It's got to be to building regs. Now you might say, okay, I'll put it in correctly, but I don't need to tell building regs. Well, in a few minutes, I'll tell you why it's really important to get building regs. So the next thing that's going to be relevant to you is part H, that's drainage and waste disposal. So if you're going to put a toilet in, a, a, in, in your ensuite, then that toilet must have the right size waste. Also the basin you put in or your shower, that must have the right size waste and also be fitted with the right size waste traps. Now again, it's no big deal of having this work signed off by building regulations just to make sure you get it right. So these works, ventilation, waste disposal and drainage, if you're putting a partition up to form an extra bedroom, then you have part E, which is sound. So that, you can't just put up a stud partition with plasterboard and plasterboard. You need sound insulation in there, and there's a minimum requirement for this. It's not just glass fibre, it's a mineral wool with a certain density. And again, you just think, oh, I'll just put a partition up. You can't just do that you've got to have it to a minimum requirement. But here's the main problem. Let's just say you do these three, four on suites into your, your HMO conversion. You get on with the work and then circumstances change and in three, four years time, you go to sell the HMO. You get your property on the market, you get the right price for it, you're all happy, you're moving on. You need to sell this HMO because something's happened, been a massive change in your family, you need to get out and this one HMO is going to pay you off one, two, three hundred thousand pounds because it's going to save you from a big problem that you're facing. Now what happens is, is that the surveyor on behalf of the buyer is going to come out, look at the property. He's going to know that these en suites are not intrinsically original to the property. So he's going to put on his report that these en suites exist and he's going to put at the end of his revaluation report, solicitor to provide building regulations completion certificate prior to release of funds. So your solicitor is going to say to you, oh, by the way, can you give me the building regulations completion certificate because I need to give this to the other side. And you're going to say, well, I didn't get building regs. So can you imagine the situation you're going to be in because you can't get this now retrospectively. You're going to be in a situation. I hope that's helpful. Mike Woods, the property expert partnership, 
need any more information, by all means, just leave the questions below. All the best. Bye-bye.